Illness anxiety disorder, also called as hypochondriasis. It is excessive fear and worry of being seriously ill, or may become seriously ill in future. The main feature of health anxiety is unrealistic fear about having a serious medical conditions. People with health anxiety may have no physical symptoms, or have minimal symptoms, or they believe that normal body sensations are signs of severe illness. Such sensations can be muscle twitching, gastrointestinal problems, palpitations, or muscle fatigue and stress-related symptoms itself. Hypochondriasis causes serious distress and it can affect quality of life. For example, a person who has a minor cough may think that they have tuberculosis. Intense anxiety itself causes some symptoms, with rapid heartbeat, palpitations, sweating, muscle tension, stomach discomfort, dizziness, shortness of breath, and numbness or tingling in certain parts of the body, hands, legs, forehead. And commonly they are not aware that depression and anxiety produce their own physical symptoms and mistake these symptoms for manifestations of another mental or physical disorder or disease. Illness anxiety disorder is a long-term condition that can fluctuate in severity. It may increase with age or during times of stress. On the other hand, somatic symptom disorder looks like illness anxiety disorder, but the person focusing on the disabling nature of physical symptoms, such as pain or dizziness, without the worry that these symptoms represent a specific illness. Illness anxiety disorder usually occurs early or middle adulthood and may get worse with age. Many people with hypochondriasis experience a cycle of intrusive thoughts followed by compulsive checking, which is very similar to the symptoms of obsessive compulsive disorder. Risk factors. A major life stress. A serious childhood illness or a parent with a serious illness. History of abuse as a child, personality traits, such as having a tendency toward being a worrier. Excessive health-related internet use. Causes. Exact cause of the disorder is not known, but maybe person is difficult to tolerating uncertainty. The patient misinterpret that all body sensations are serious, resulted search for evidence to confirm that he has a serious disease. Past experience also important. Patient may had experience with serious illness in past so physical symptoms may be frightening to him or her. Hypochondriasis affects about 0.1% of general population. To make diagnosis, patient should have either one of the following. A. Persistent belief, of at least six months duration, of the presence of a minimum of two serious physical diseases, of which at least one must be specifically named by the patient. B. Preoccupation with the belief and the symptoms causes persistent distress or interference with personal functioning in daily living and leads the patient to seek medical treatment or investigations. C. Persistent refusal to accept medical advice that there is no adequate physical cause for the symptoms. D. Preoccupation with fears of having, or the idea that one has, a serious disease based on the person's misinterpretation of bodily symptoms. Treatment. Cognitive behavioral therapy is an effective treatment for hypochondriasis. Typically, about two-thirds of patients respond to treatment, and they have remissions, no longer have hypochondriasis after treatment. Antidepressant medications such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors can reduce symptoms. Fluoxetine or paroxetine may improve the anxiety and physical symptoms of hypochondriasis. In some cases, hypochondriasis responds well to antipsychotics, particularly the newer atypical antipsychotic medications. No herbs are specifically used to treat hypochondriasis and no studies show any effectiveness of herbs for hypochondriasis. St. John's wort, hypericum perforatum, may be helpful for some people with symptoms of depression. Massage therapy may help reduce symptoms of hypochondriasis in some people.